In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to organize the media library. If you spend any time in here at all and you have a larger site, you know it is chaos. There really needs to be better organization options built into WordPress for this, but there aren't. The WordPress developers haven't improved this area in what seems like decades, but again, it's free, it's open source, so they're not getting paid to do it, so they work on the highest impact things, and that's probably not organizing images, even though it is a big point of annoyance for big sites because it needs more organization. We're gonna check out how we can organize it in this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up because it helps in the algorithm. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where I help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And now let's organize our media library. This is our default media library. This site's not very big, doesn't have too many images. So this many images wouldn't really be a problem on a site this size. But if you have hundreds or thousands of images, this is just not a great way to organize things. There's the option to change the view to a list instead of the thumbnails, which might help a little bit, but I, I don't think so. You need to have folders like you have on a hard drive. You don't have 10,000 images just in one folder on your hard drive. You probably have them sorted into vacation 2019 and kids soccer games and whatever. You have some kind of organization in your files on your hard drive, otherwise it'd just be complete chaos. So to add some organization to our media library, we're gonna add a plugin. Let's go to plugins and add new and look up Filebird. This is the one we're gonna use right here, 40,000 active installs, updated one week ago, compatible with the current version of WordPress, all looks gravy, created by Ninja Team, these are the guys behind Ninja Forms, and I like they're gonna be around for a while and continue supporting this plugin. So it's a good plugin to use because I think it has long-term staying potential and it's free. Another one you might wanna check out is Mediamatic over here. It's also free. This one allows up to 12 folders to be created, main folders and subfolders, whereas Filebird allows 10. But Filebird just has more installs. It has a higher rating based on more ratings than Mediamatic, and it's created by a team that I know creates great plugins, and they've been around for a long time, and I think they'll be around for a long time to come. But you can use either, because when you uninstall them, nothing breaks, so it's not a big deal. So I'm gonna click on Install Now, and then after I install it, I'm gonna click on Activate, and if you're installing this plugin on a live site, you might wanna back up your site first, just in case something goes wrong. I've linked to the tutorial up above in the card or the description down below that'll help you back up your site just to make sure you're safe in case something happens. It's pretty rare these days that stuff happens when you upload new plugins, but you just never know. Better safe than sorry. So let's review this later. And now we have under settings, Filebird. And I have my find replace on, so I'll highlight it. There we go, turn that off. And the Filebird settings are very basic, as you can see. Do you want Filebird loading on the front end? It says here if you turn this on, Filebird will not function on front end builders such as Divi, WP Bakery, Page Builder, Beaver Builder. So turn this on or off depending on what your needs are. Each user has his own folder, so you can turn that on and off. That might be a great way to organize if you have a bunch of authors on your site and they upload images, or you have a bunch of editors and they upload images, you could have them each get their own folder, which might be very useful. You also have the ability to import folder structures in your media library from other plugins, from the Enhanced Media Library plugin or the WordPress Media Library Folders plugin. And that's all the settings for this plugin. It's pretty simple, but it's very powerful. Where the magic really happens is in the media folder. So let's go to Media and Library. <coughs> and we see immediately on the right-hand side is our media library, like we saw just a moment ago. You can change the view to thumbnail if you want. All the functionality you have in your regular media library is still here. It's just that we added this one little column. We can make it a big column too if we want by clicking and dragging or make it go away completely. Let's not do that. So we have this column here and this is where we organize. I'm gonna change this back to list and we're gonna organize some things. The first thing I wanna show you is if I go to violin and click on edit, we have a permalink here to the image. This is the permalink to the image. And we see on the right hand side is the URL for the plugin. And we do not want this to change because that would break our references to that file in our site. Some media library folder plugins do change the URLs, which means you have to redo all your images on your site. You don't wanna do that. So we wanna make sure this URL does not change. So let's copy and paste this, or copy it, not paste it yet. Let's go back to our library. Let's create a new folder by going to new folder. Let's call it music, click okay. And then once this little bar here is done, drag and drop the violin into the music folder. 
Now we see here we have one image in the music folder. Click on there and we see our violin. If I go to edit, the permalink is not changed, still violin-2. Our file URL is over here. I'm going to paste the original one right here so we can reference it. So we have uploads forward slash 2020 forward slash 03 forward slash violin.jpg. Let's see if this is the same. So we have uploads 2020 violin.jpg. It's the exact same, which is what we want. These file folders are called virtual folders. So they're not really real. They're just helping us organize. So if you go into your server and you go into the actual uploads folder, all your images are still going to be in the main uploads folder or filed under dates. What you do in here does not change the file structure on your server, which again is a good thing because if you change the URLs, so if you change the file structure on the server, you're going to change the URLs to the images, which means they won't be displaying on your website. So you have to go and change all the references, all the links to images on your site, which can be a big pain if you have a big site. So these folders are virtual. Let's add new folder. I want to make this one animals. Click OK. Now by default, that made animals a subfolder of music. I don't want that, so I'm going to click and drag animals till I see this dotted box, so it moves it out to the main. If I decided I did want to make it a subfolder, I can click and drag so it indents the box. As you see here, it's indented a little bit. That'll make it a subfolder. And if I find that this name is not adequate for this folder type, maybe animals is not the right name for a subfolder of music, I could call this violins. Rename it very easily. Let's drag that back out. Let's call it animals. And now if we go to all files, we still see all the files on the site. This is including files that are in folders. If we click on categorized, you'll notice the violin disappears because this is all the images and videos and media that are not categorized into folders yet. So this is the place you want to work once you're first organizing or when you're first organizing your site. So let's move this lion into our animals. Let's move them all, in fact. Why not? You notice these names. These are references to different image compression plugins. And if you have a lot of images in your media library, image compression is definitely something you want to look into because it makes your site load faster. I've linked to the tutorial up above showing you my favorite image optimization plugin that I use on all my sites. So click up there to check that out. It's also in the description. So for the animals, we now have five images. We see a little five in the icon there. And we have our images in here. And that's really all there is to it. In the free version of FileBird, you can have 10 folders slash subfolders. So 10 main folders or eight main folders and two subfolders or whatever configuration you have, you can have a total of 10 folders. That's the free version. The paid version allows an unlimited number. I don't know what the paid version costs. Let's go check it out. Uh, FileBird, let's see, Code Canyon. FileBird, $25. So if you have a big site or a lot of sites, that's really not that bad. Not bad at all because it really helps with organization. Big question you might have is what happens if I delete a folder? Well, let's try it. Let's go to Animals, Delete. Are you sure? Yes, I want to delete it. Are those images gone? They shouldn't be. They should now be back into uncategorized. And here they are. And so the images do not disappear when you delete a folder. They just go back into the main pool of images. If we deactivate the plugin, let's go to our plugins, find FileBird, deactivate, skip and deactivate. Go back to the media library. We have our images still here, our violin. The URLs are still the same as they were before. And it just reverts back to whatever media library was before you installed the plugin. Now, if I go back and reactivate it, it remembers what our settings were, and we have our one image in the music folder. And if I had 10 folders here and all my images categorized, those would all be back into their respective folders once I reactivate the plugin. So that's a quick and easy way you can organize your media library to make it not so chaotic. And now check out this tutorial right here which shows you how to compress images on your site because that'll make your site load faster. I mentioned this tutorial earlier. Check it out, make your website faster. There's also a free version of this plugin 
And if you go to the link I share in the description of this plugin, you get 150 more compressions every month, which renew every month with the free plugin. So check that out right here and click like on this video because that really helps me out and I really appreciate it. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.